Hey everyone, a commenter on my What's Under the Frunk of a Tesla Model S video that was posted several weeks ago asked if I could put together a quick DIY showing in more detail the process of removing the frunk tub and frunk trim and liner and all that kind of stuff uh, since the time lapse that's in that video didn't really show a whole ton of detail. Uh, so yeah, let's do this. The first step to removing all the frunk bits is to pull up the frunk seal which runs along the outside of the frunk liner. The thing to keep in mind is that the seal doesn't sit vertically, it actually seats at an angle. So you're going to want to pull up the inside edge and then pull it towards yourself at a slight angle and it begins to come up like that and then you just work your way around. With the front seal removed, the next step before you can remove the front liner is to pull out the front light, which just pries right out and pull it out with your fingers, and then remove its power lead just pulls right out. With the frunk light removed, pull the frunk liner forward and disconnect the frunk emergency release. With those two wires disconnected, make sure that none of them are poking through the hole in the frunk liner, because they'll get caught, and pull the frunk liner up and out. Before the side pieces can be removed, you'll next have to unscrew the uh, hood stop adjustments, which are kind of a pain, because you just sort of have to grab them and twist and turn and keep turning and turning and turning. Next, remove the side front trim pieces. Start by lifting from the back and working your way forward. With both side pieces removed, the rear trim piece can be removed by pulling up at the back and then moving it toward the windshield and away from the car. Before lifting the tub out, you'll need to remove one 8mm nut from the front of the tub and two 13 millimeter bolts from the back of the tub. You'll need to push this grommet through and make sure the wires are clear. You don't want to uh, get them caught on the tub when removing it. With the grommet and wires out of the way, the tub can be lifted out of the car. At this point, take a moment to stare at the inside of your car. Invite friends and family over, perhaps neighbors. If you need to change your air filter, it's located right here. In post-refresh cars, it's not located right here. To remove the air filter, simply press two clips to the side, pull the plastic cover off, As the saying goes, installation is the reverse of removal. So don't forget to leave your questions and comments down below, rate and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.